something I, I often hear from people when I talk about a fruit based diet or even an all fruitarian diet is that it's very restrictive it's it's a very restrictive strict diet and people are scared of that they were like oh that's 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 scary you don't want to eat a strict diet you want to eat a varied balanced diet right these are these are words that people like to use about healthy eating balanced varied but what does that really mean uh, and is the fruit diet really restrictive let's talk about that a little bit you know, if I told you that I don't eat rocks, I don't eat uh, paper, I don't eat uh, bark, I don't eat uh, tablecloth, um, you would be like, uh, that's good. That's good that you don't eat those things. And of course that is good. But in a way you could also say that I'm restricting my diet. I'm not eating tablecloth, so it's a very restrictive diet. But actually it's, it's more that tablecloth and paper and rocks is not a part of, it's not food it's not in the category of food so eliminating those those things is not restricting my diet they were never you know a possible even potential part of my diet and i would say we humans we have strayed a long way from what natural eating is all about and we we are pretty much eating almost anything and of course in a survival situation like way back in the day when we had to start eating meat because there was not enough fruit maybe around in our environment we were moving out of our tropical climate going north and there's all these kind of interesting activities that we've been doing as humans anthropologically speaking and they have, may have caused us to have to start eating foods and have to start cooking foods as well in order to survive um, but when we started doing that we left our ideal dietary niche which in my opinion is tropical fruits just like our uh, ch uh, relatives the chimpanzee the bonobo they eat primarily fruit yes they do eat some meat but first of all there are different species and second of all you know who knows if that's really their optimal preference or if it's just a seasonal thing because there's a lack of fruit again you know they're intelligent they can make intelligence choices just like us but we're obviously the most intelligent ape, I think. And so, in human history, a lot of different things have now been starting to be considered as food. So if I eliminate meat out of my diet, and I eliminate eggs out of my diet, I eliminate milk. Milk, I mean, think about it. Milk is the food for a calf. It is from a cow. It's mother's milk. There's no species in nature that drinks milk beyond infancy. Only humans do that, and they drink the milk of another species, a cow. It's very strange. So if I eliminate those foods out of my diet, if I eliminate milk, cheese, eggs, meat, suddenly people go like, oh, you're, you know, it's a restriction diet. You're restricting yourself. You're eliminating foods, and that's, you're no longer on a balanced diet. But that's my opinion. My opinion is that those foods, those items are not strictly speaking foods for humans yes they are survival foods they we can get nutrients from them we can eat them and we can to a certain degree digest it and extract the nutrients we need to survive but why not get those nutrients from the foods that we're optimally evolved to digest which is fruits and to a lesser degree tender vegetables you know, our body doesn't really distinguish between the calcium from uh, milk or the calcium from uh, uh, fruit. Uh, is, is calcium is calcium. But if that calcium comes in the form of fruit, not only is the ratio of that calcium to all the other nutrients more appropriate for our physiology, but also we avoid getting all the negative elements that we would get from milk, for example, uh, cholesterol, uh, there's too much fat in there, too much protein, you know, it's the sign for a cow to grow from a calf to a big cow in a, in a year, you know, it's not really the hormones in there. There's, there's, there's all these things that we would rather avoid getting. So if you can get your calcium from a mango, that would be a much less toxic, uh, easier to digest source of calcium than getting it from milk. So my point here is that by eliminating these foods, I'm not actually eliminating the nutrients they are present in pretty much everything almost everything has everything so all fruits actually have almost all the nutrients and all the amino acids and all the fatty acids and all these things in various degrees so 
eating a fruitarian diet is not actually a restrictive diet if you look at the nutrition because that's what we have to focus on we have to look at the nutrients in the food if we want to go down that route of analyzing nutrition and the nutrients present in fruit are very good like it's all there it's it's nothing to worry about as long as you're eating enough calories you're getting the nutrients you need to be healthy now do i suggest you eat only one food forever uh, that's probably not the best but maybe it could be possible some animals eat a very narrow diet only a few foods you know horses they eat a lot of grass they might vary from different types of grass different types of of herbs and that sort of thing but the nutrient composition is pretty much the same across the board and the same with fruit most fruit have a very similar nutrient composition but and this is the thing really with varied diets it's difficult to analyze and difficult to know sometimes some soils might not have enough nutrients other soils might be great and essentially you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket as the saying goes so just gambling on like I'm getting my bananas from this farmer and I only eat bananas and that's all I eat that's probably it could be okay you might be fine for for your whole life but you might also not and animals in the wild they do eat a variety of foods most of them and it also varies according to season and you know throughout the year so my recommendations for a varied healthy human diet would be to eat a variety of fruits and vegetables possibly but even if you're only eating fruit like I am for the most part eating a variety of fruits will do tropical fruits are better in my opinion nutritionally speaking but even temperate fruits are pretty all right you just don't want to get too narrow but that doesn't mean you have to get all the different foods in each meal and you have to focus on like getting each nutrient every day and meeting your recommended daily amount no, your body will store nutrients and it will, you know, recycle nutrients and you don't have to get everything every day, except obviously you need your fuel in terms of calories every day. And, and there are certain other nutrients that are more urgent than others because we're not able to store them. That being said, as long as you're eating a very simple diet of fruit, you can just, at, at the meal, you can just keep it simple and eat one fruit at a time, like a mono meal, but then, throughout the day maybe have a few different types of mono meals or if the mangoes are just amazing you might just eat mangoes all day long that's okay too by a few months the mango season will be sort of fading out and there's maybe lychees are coming into season and then there's then there's your staples like typically bananas are a staple because of their convenience and that sort of thing but yeah so over time you will have a different fruit coming into season each month you know and you'll have a variety throughout the year and that is a balanced diet uh, when people say you can't eat like that that's such a restrictive balanced diet ask them What do you mean by restrictive diet and they'll be like, I don't know. It's just too narrow too narrow well like What nutrients are missing from this from this diet you can ask them and uh, they will probably not know and maybe you don't even know but There is actually no nutrient missing from a fruit-based diet uh, a, a you know a varied fruit based diet no no particular nutrient is missing in any significant amount it's all there in a pretty appropriate ratio and amounts yes there's no b12 in fruit and yes there's no vitamin d but vitamin d we get from the sun and ideally vitamin b12 we should be getting from our environment you can check out our video on b12 here so those nutrients are more environmental nutrients rather than dietary nutrients so dietarily speaking fruit is very sufficient and it's very varied and balanced um, there's no need to start looking to non foods like tablecloths or milk or weird specific foods that like you know people get hung up on these fads where like oh I have to eat this food because it has so much of this nutrient or so much of that nutrient no I trust that the food that we are supposed to eat that has the most appropriate nutrition for humans will be the one that is tastiest in their natural in its natural state and edible in its natural state and if you look at all the foods that exist what foods are appeal to you in their natural state um, raw meat uh, like a dead animal is that really appealing uh, not so much drinking milk from a cow eh, not so much fruit though fruit is so appealing in its natural state by the look by the smell by the taste fruit appeals to our senses and that means our senses are geared at finding the nutrients we need obviously uh, what else I mean all the animals in nature seem to be doing just fine and they don't know about protein they don't know about omega-3s 
They just eat according to their natural instincts. And I know that human beings are frugivores, so fruit provides us with what we need. So, you know, fruit, fruit-based diets, they're not really that restrictive. Vegan diets, just because we're eliminating what we consider not to be food, doesn't mean that we're restricting our diet. Quite on the contrary, we are opening up to an abundance of fruits and vegetables in the world. I mean, there's so much stuff out there. And there's no reason why we should eat animal foods. And there's no reason why we even need to eat vegetables, in my opinion. We can subsist on fruit alone. But, you know, people have various... Uh, they make different choices, and that's okay. It's all good. Uh, if you're just eating a fruit focused diet at least and getting most of your calories from carbohydrates in the form of, and whole simple foods you will be okay in my opinion uh, if you're interested in learning more about starting a raw vegan diet maybe uh, you can check out our free e-booklet on how to get started on our website so it's all about getting started with the raw food diet obviously and if you're interested in personalized assistance uh, we also do offer health coaching where I can talk to you on Skype one-to-one -one. You can find all the information on the website and this is this is a program to sort of help you take your health to the next level whatever that means for you um, you don't have to be all raw or anything like that we can we can work from wherever you're at and just try to take it in the direction of more healthy choices and lifestyle so be sure to check that out and in the meantime just eat your fruit keep it varied but you don't have to stress about it you can eat mangoes for weeks on end if that's all you want. It's, uh, same with any other fruit. It's, it's all there, it's all there. As long as you're eating enough calories, you're getting enough protein, you're getting enough omega-3s. It's all in a perfect, perfect blend. Listen to the bird. Mm, kookaburra here in Australia. Very nice bird. All right, see you around.